हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल हियर एट टी एन वी अकेडमी चैप्टर नेम क्लास फोर कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्लास फोर कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी विल एक्सप्लेन यू द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द क्लास फोर ऑफ द आई एस ओ फोर्टीन Now let us understand the clause. Clause four contains total four sub clauses, which is described as below. Sub clause four point two, understanding the needs and expectation of interested parties. Sub clause four point three, determining the scope of the environmental management system. Sub clause four point four, environmental management system. Now. let us understand in detail sub clause 4.1 explain the understanding the organization and its context under this sub clause we would identify external and internal issues which are important for the environmental objectives and strategy of the organization the purpose is to define and evaluate the issues which influence the capability of the environmental management system and are relevant for the results which to be achieved now let's know the external and internal issues which are important for the environmental objectives and strategy external issues point 1 legal requirements changes and plant changes point 2 technical developments point 3 market analysis competition point 4 supply chain resources point 5 ecological environment example flood risk sensitive ecosystem point 7 neighborhood point 8 public interest internal issues point 1 strategy leadership and structure point 2 performance indicators point 3 communication and cultural issues for example china second now let's understand the sub clause 4.2 understanding the needs and expectations of interested parties under this sub clause the organization shall determine point 1 the interested parties that are relevant to the environmental management system and their needs and expectations Point two, their influence on environmental performance. Point three, which of these needs and expectations become its compliance obligations? Now, let us know who can be an interested parties: clients, owners, authorities, employees, neighbors, general public, banks, suppliers, partners. universities association point 3 now let us know about the sub clause 4.3 determining the scope of the environmental management system under this sub clause we would understand point 1 determination of the scope of the environmental system and its boundaries point 2 determination of the scope taking into consideration the external and internal issue of the organization as explained above under sub clause 4.1 and the requirements of the interested parties as explained under sub clause 4.2 point 3 once the scope is defined all activities products and services of the organization within that scope need to be included in the environmental management system now let us understand the determination of scope by example of documentation evidences point 1 excerpt from the commercial register point 2 procedural landscape process model point 3 organization charts point 4 process descriptions point 5 procedures and other applicable documents point 6 environmental management manual point 7 geographical and technical scope point 8 reason for exclusion of certain requirements point 
डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ आउटसोर्स प्रोसेसेस पॉइंट टेन वेबसाइट पॉइंट इलेवन इन्वायरमेंटल रिपोर्ट थर्ड नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द सब क्लॉजेस फोर पॉइंट फोर इन्वायरमेंटल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम दिस सब क्लॉज डिस्क्राइब्स दैट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शेल स्टेब्लिश इंप्लीमेंट मेंटेन एन इन्वायरमेंटल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम विद इन देयर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ दिस इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड दैट इज आई एस ओ फोर्टीन थाउजेंड वन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शेल कंटिन्यूली इंप्रूव देयर इस्टेब्लिश इन्वायरमेंटल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शेल टेक इन टू कंसिडरेशन द प्रोविजन्स ऑफ सब क्लॉज फोर पॉइंट वन एंड फोर पॉइंट टू वाइल इस्टेब्लिशिंग देयर इन्वायरमेंटल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम ई एम एस द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एविडेंसेज ऑफ दिस सब क्लॉज आर एज फॉलोज पॉइंट वन लिंकिंग ऑफ प्रोसेस विथ फर्दर डॉक्यूमेंट्स प्रोसीजर्स वर्क इंस्ट्रक्शन पॉइंट टू अवेलेबल रिसोर्सेज पॉइंट थ्री एनालिसिस ऑफ द प्रोसेस विथ रिगार्ड टू रिस्क एंड ऑपरचुनिटीज एंड द असोसिएटेड प्लानिंग इंप्लीमेंटेशन एंड असेसमेंट ऑफ मेजर्स पॉइंट फोर लिस्ट ऑफ द डॉक्यूमेंट्स necessary for carrying out the processes and for their control and safeguarding now let's know the requirement of the clause as explained in standard clause 4 context of the organization sub clause 4.1 understanding the organization and its context the organization shall determine external and internal issues that are relevant to its purpose and that affect its ability to achieve the intended outcomes of its environmental management system such issues shall include environmental conditions being affected or capable of affecting the organization sub clause 4.2 understanding the needs and expectations of interested parties the organization shall determine point 1 the interested parties that are relevant to the environmental management system point 2 the relevant needs and expectations that is requirements of these interested parties point 3 which of these needs and expectations become its compliance obligations sub clause 4.3 determining the scope of the environmental management system the organization shall determine the boundaries and applicability of the environmental management system to establish its scope when determining this scope the organization shall consider point 1 the external and internal issues referred to in 4.1 point 2 the compliance obligation referred to in 4.2 point 3 its organizational units functions and physical boundaries point 4 its activities products and services point 5 its authority and ability to exercise control and influence once the scope is defined all activities products and services of the organization within that scope need to be included in the environmental management system the scope shall be maintained as documented information and be available to interested parties sub clause 4.4 environmental management system to achieve the intended outcomes including enhancing its environmental performance the organization shall establish implement maintain and continually improve an environmental management system including the processes needed and their interactions in accordance with the requirements of this international standard the organization shall consider the knowledge gained in 4.1 and 4.2 when establishing and maintaining the environmental management system now let's understand common mistakes which auditors do while verifying the documents and records of the organization during audit under this clause point 1 no checking of calibration records point 2 sometime auditor start thinking for the option while auditor need to understand the organization process of ems monitoring measurement and evaluation 
Point three, auditors start consulting activities, then emphasizing on audit verification. Point four, auditors asking for FSSAI license or any other registration certificates like GST, ROC, etc., which did not required or applicable on the organization. Dear friends, we have now come to the conclusion of this training session. See you soon with an exciting new topic. Till then. Goodbye.